Hello, this is JBig Ticket 23 um, from GreenPCGamers.com. Um, in this short video, we're going to show you how to install a processor into a Precision T5610 workstation. So, if you are like many and you ordered your Precision T5610 with a lower end processor, um, initially from Dell, you know, to keep the cost down. Um, this video will show you how to upgrade that processor. Uh, we are only going to do a single processor in this video, um, possibly uh, dual procs in future videos, but the concept stays the same. So here are some of the recommended processors uh, that, that we like. Um, these are higher clock speed, quad core, six core, eight core CPUs. Uh, the T5610 also supports uh, 10, some 10 core CPUs, but the clock speed isn't quite as high. So in this particular video, we are going to be installing the bottom option here on the screen. It's the Xeon 8 core E5 2687 V2, uh, 3.4 gigahertz, 25 meg cache, 8 GTS, uh, 4 gigahertz max turbo frequency. So it's a, it's a pretty, pretty nice processor. Uh, one other thing to note before you attempt this, if you purchase one of these processors and you're going to install it, make sure you install the latest BIOS on your system. Um, that way you don't have any microcode update issues. And it's very important to note that you you would want to do the E52687 WV2. The V1 will also work, uh, but V3 and V4 processors will not work in the T5610. Okay, so we'll quickly pull off the side panel in the T5610. Take a look around. We've converted this into a gaming PC, so uh, this processor is really going to help us out as far as throughput goes. Uh, first step is to remove this optical drive uh, bracket. It comes out fairly easy. You lift that black handle and it pops right out. So this is where we install the processor. Uh, there's two retention clips. Be very, very, very careful uh, around the pins here. Do not touch those pins because your finger will stick right to them and if you bend them, you will have to replace your motherboard. So do not touch those pins. So you can grab your processor, give it a little close up. E52687 WV2 SR19V is the step code if you wanna order this one. And basically, you have to line it up, be extremely gentle. You'll see the little tabs. I have it flipped around. Don't, do be, don't be like me and line it up exactly like that. And drop it right in. Put your, uh, put your cover back on, retention clips. One thing to note is when you have a single processor installed, you can only use four of the memory slots. So you can you cannot use the other four memory slots until you install a secondary proc. The struggle is real with one hand, but we'll get this thing installed. So as you can see, it clips right in there. And then that side should go in. At this point, you need to grab your heat sink. Actually, take that back. Grab your uh, thermal grease. We grab it from Shiatsu Microsci. They make really, really solid uh, thermal grease. Give yourself a nice little pen cap right in the middle. Because what happens is when you install your heat sink and it heats up a little bit, it'll evenly spread that thermal grease throughout the processor. So it'll keep it nice and cool. So now, we have to grab our heat sink, which has a fan built onto it. Um, here's the part number, just in case you need to order one. Make sure you clean any old excess thermal grease off. There's the fan. If you want to take a look, there's a few different versions of this fan, but they all work as long as you buy one that's certified for the T5610. First step, make sure you plug in your fan. If you don't do this, the system will complain and post, and it'll say the CPU fan is not not plugged in or missing. Uh, so now you have four retention screws that you have to uh, screw in. 
once you hit all those screws you're ready to put your optical drive back in and then you will basically uh, put your side panel back on you can power the unit back on and as long as you've installed the processor properly um, and you have the microcode updates to the latest BIOS, um, it's plug and play. So on your next boot, you can go into the F2 setup, um, verify that it's working, boot into Windows, um, and you have an upgraded processor installed into your Precision T5610. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please visit www.greenpcgamers.com for more content. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel. Um, also, if you want to support me, um, please follow uh, JBigTicket23 on Twitch. Um, thanks again for watching.